Hey, here's a little drinking game. Find the mic pack on one of us in, all, in Living in 8-Bits. I find it in every one. My name's Carmen. Well, I'm Jeff. I'm Lori. I'm Mike, but Mike insists on calling me Ponner, but that's fine. So I'm Ponner. Um, I'm Ponner. Hi, I'm Kevin from 8-Bits. Coming to you live via Skype from San Diego, California. Let's see, I've been a part of Mixed Nuts since college. I act a lot in Living 8-Bits. I'm an actor in 8-Bits, and I also directed one episode. What do I do for 8-Bits? I do anything Mike, Mike asked me to do. Sometimes I do lighting, but most of the time I'm just on camera doing faces like this. I try my best to act. I uh, hold the boom mic. Every time I'm out, um, I'm, I'm back east, I try to hook up with Mike and shoot if we have the time. My favorite video games growing up, you know, one of my best friends, John, him and I used to play video games non-stop. I, I was a pretty heavy gamer. As a kid, Mario Brothers was the first one I ever played, Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, Super Mario 3, spent a lot of time playing that. The first games I got, it was like, maybe I was five at, on Easter, I got a three pack of uh, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and uh, the Olympics. So I had the trackpad, I had the gun, and then I had the controller, so I, I was all over the place with the gaming system then. Probably Zelda was my favorite. But I didn't like fighting bad guys that much, so I never beat it myself. I just helped my brother beat it. The first game that always comes to mind that, that John and I always used to play was uh, one on Sega called General Chaos. I mean, it was pretty much like a game of risk. You move across the level, and then when you move across the entire map, then you move up to the next level. Well, John and I used to always get past the first map, and then that would be it. Like, yeah, we get past the first map, we'd be so happy. Then we start on the second map, and we die the first level, and we just could never figure it out. Some notable ones like Bases Loaded 3, love that game. I also loved all the racing games like Mario Kart and uh, anything with a running pad. Blades of Steel, that actually got me into hockey, I'm a big hockey nerd now. The Turtles Arcade, Simpsons Arcade, the X-Men Arcade. Monster Party, I don't know if anybody out there ever played that, but a kid's a normal kid at night and, then mon and during the day and then monsters at night. There was an old Batman game for Nintendo, I, I could never get past a certain spot without Game Genie. And of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Um, that was maybe, spent a lot of hours on that, especially with friends. But my favorite video game of all time, I guess, would be Sid Meier's Civilization. Old Nintendo, my dad got, it, got me into like the Link and the Zeldas. So I'm big into those. We used to try to like, you know, cheat the running pad by just like banging on it, you know, so we could go faster and win. Zelda, my mom would be like, come on, we gotta go run errands. And I'd be like, hang on mom, I gotta die. And she likes to bring that up at Thanksgiving and other, you know, family events of me saying I needed to kill myself in order to move on in life. I got really good at Mario Kart. The first Mario Kart. That, that game killed so, many, so much of my time. I used to study that game. Like, I would watch the computer run a level and I realized that they were jumping. I was like, why the hell are they jumping? Go, 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 as they took a turn. And now I started to jump and I realized that you guys are jumping, you're actually turning sharper, sharper, sharper. I was like, oh, oh, okay, okay. And you're hitting the, the, the thumb trigger, you know, and you're bopping around. Whenever we would go on vacation as a family, we would go every summer to, you know, a local, a, a shore town like Ocean City or Long Beach Island. And I would have to stake out the closest arcade and I would, We'd be there for a week and I must have spent like 80 bucks and I mean for a little kid that's a lot. I actually used to love watching my brother play video games and I would uh, I'd get like all the stuffed animals to be like uh, his audience and we would like cheer for him when he was fighting the bad guys. But I don't have a retro system anymore. I think my brother got the one and my little sister got the Super Nintendo. I still have my cartridge for NHL 95 and Mega Man 10. They're not here right now but I would just like to pretend that they are. I want to get back into gaming. I miss being a gamer. I don't care what you say. I was re learning Roman numerals when Mega Man 10 X came out. And Mega Man X has always been Mega Man 10. It's fourth grade, okay? As far as retro systems, I have a Super Nintendo hooked up right now that I play a lot, and a Game Boy Advance that I'm into. And I got the Sega in the closet, Nintendo 64 in the closet. I got rid of the Nintendo. That was a mistake. 
it's one of those things where it's like, kids are good at that game. Could I play that now? Like, if I were to pick that game up now and, and play against my, my younger self, I would still, like, my, you know, 28-year-old self would still lose to my however old self that was. Kids are just always better at video games because they have just no inhibitions about it. Our generation grew up on the 8-bit, you know, on the Nintendo thing. We saw the beginning, we really did see the beginning of video games. You know, some of us saw Pong. I never saw Pong, but I saw the first Atari, and I used to play the first Atari. And, and, and we grew up on that. Well, video games are bigger than ever. There's a lot of people that, that um, hook up their old Nintendos or old Segas or, or you know, there's old gaming consoles and play games they used to play when they were like 12 or 11. Retro Game Revolution has been going on for a while now. There's all sorts of videos on the internet. We're in a good niche right now. Here, living in 8-bits, you're, you're putting like a nice comedic spin on it. You have like someone out of the ordinary, but it's very much within the gaming world. But, you know, living with it in real life, it makes for some funny situations and fun things to act out and improvise. Living in 8-bits is, is, is our generation looking back on what we used to play. And, and it's our generation who are looking back and saying, oh my God, if this was real life, this would be funny. I understand every single gag and I've lived it at one point, like the guy fighting, like, why is he just dancing? I guess it's, its appeal is that there's, there's a lot of like th things that you, maybe you thought about in video games that you might not realize that everybody else kind of thought about too when they were younger, like things that are kind of weird. And we've all had that conversation. I mean, any, anybody who was a gamer will tell you that they sat down with their friends and like, man, can you imagine if Paperboy, if that was real life, a guy chasing after you with a spatula? It's a lot of fun. We have fun doing it. Um, and I think people have fun watching it. It seems like we've, we've gotten kind of a cult following on like a couple of different websites and on YouTube. And since we had the Angry Video Game Nerd, we had like even more fans, which is exciting. And the hardest part is to do something a little bit different than anybody else. And I think that we successfully found a way to do that, and I'm proud of it. It's cool that we're getting a good response, and we've even been nominated for some awards and featured on the radio, so that is pretty exciting too. Think of a tree. Think of a tree. Mixed nut is the tree, okay? <laughs> Appropriately, mixed nuts is the tree. And then from branch, you have branches and branches and branches and branches, and a lot of the branches are really short, but living in 8 bits is a taller branch, if you will. You follow? Do you, do you want me to? There's the tree, roots, grass, you know, roots and grass and all that stuff. Branch, living in 8 bits. And there it goes. And it's still growing because obviously trees live for a while and they grow. 